Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm gonna be explaining to you how genetics work in the way of the hunter and how you can get huge five stars on your map consistently every day. Let's get into it. There's three different types of ages that all animals have. They have young, adult, and mature. A young could be a one star or a two star. I've only seen one star youngs and I never shoot them. You never want to shoot a, a young no matter what because it could always go to be a five star or a big four star. If you ever see a two star young, which I've never seen, that, based off what I've seen, that is a guaranteed, that is a guaranteed five star. Adults normally are one, two, or three star. If you ever find a three star adult, nine times out of ten, it will always go to be a five star. I have had times where they did grow it to be a four star mature, and I waited for them to become a five star. Never seen them again, meaning they probably died of old age. But if you really want huge five stars, sometimes you have to take that risk. Now, if you see a two-star adult, I never shoot two-star adults. I normally give them a chance because they could be in the earlier stages of being an adult, meaning by the end of their adult stage, they could be a three-star. So I always give them a chance. One-star adults kind of applies the same thing for them, but sometimes if I look and compare other one-star adults to other ones, and I see that their antlers aren't that big, sometimes I'll shoot them. Half the time they might actually have good genetics, sometimes they don't. It's kind of a gamble. But mature is the last stage of age in the way of the hunter. And the one you always want to look at to get 5 stars or know if they have bad genetics. Mature is the final and most important stage in an animal's life in the way of the hunter and can really determine what the animal is. Mature they could be all the way from a 1 star to a 5 star, meaning they could be a 1 star their entire lifetime or could grow it to be a 5 star. If you ever see a one star mature, chances of it getting bigger isn't very likely. You always want to shoot one and two star matures no matter what. Sometimes a three star mature could mean that it just came from the adult stage of his life, meaning there could still be a chance that it could become a five star in the later stages of a mature stage. So you always want to be careful of that. Herd management in this game is very important. You always want to go near the same areas, constantly checking on animals. I have routes that I normally go. If you go watch some of my other videos, I have places on where whitetail and mule deer is, which is one of my main spots to hunt. Always paying attention to what your animals are. If I see a four star mature or a three star adult, I will regularly check up on them at least every 30 minutes in real life just to see how they're doing. Because once they reach five star as a mature, they could very easily die off and you won't see them again. I have had it happen to me a couple times. I think I have around 20 five star animals. I think I counted the day, it was like 18. I have had a couple that have died off that I've never seen before. They just became a five star. I scared them off by accident and they never came back again, meaning they most likely died from old age. So from the routes that I take, I always try and look out for that. Take out the bad ones, always keeping the good ones. And over time, the more good genetic animals you get in your herds, the more your map will produce more of those. After a while, your map, you'll see the improvements of your map. So I've been doing herd management for my mule deer, my white tailed deer for quite a while. My white tail, I'm still working on, but my mule deer, I have nothing but constant, at least over 50% genetics, but it used to be, I'd even get ones that have like 14%, 20%, 30%. But I never actually see that anymore. So how genetics work is just always keeping an eye on your genetics. Seeing that and then taking out the bad ones that you know are bad. Always take them out because they are holding back your herd's potential. Thanks for watching the end of the video guys. If you have any questions that I didn't maybe explain that you wanted to hear, ask me in the comments. I'll let you know. Peace out. Thanks for watching.